Yeah, he's got to look at it like he's not just merely a warm body to use off the bench. He's got to see it as an opportunity to show the organization what he can do. He might make it impossible for them to keep him down. And then you never know what can happen. Before you know it, he could be playing in the show. And that's how this business works. If you play well and help a team win, they're going to find a spot for you. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. Xavier St. John will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Now the first pitch. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. And how about that, guys? He just tallied his first hit in AAA. A nice moment as we see the ball being tossed into the dugout there. Yeah, that's very exciting, no doubt about it. But as a minor leaguer, your goal is to be a major leaguer. So while he'll take this knock, he's got to keep his eye on the ultimate prize, the show. Xavier St. John will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. He's set, now the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. He's ready, now the pitch. And oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. The early hit total, about what you'd expect in a score line such as this. Fastball that he laces the other way into left and this will split the gap for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. Kevin Sanders will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. Xavier St. John will stand in. He tripled homer run his last time. Driven nicely into the gap, and it's going to get down and should be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. Now the relay home. And they show a little life here as the lead swings to 6-2 now. Kevin Sanders will stand in now. A punch out victim ask you because you're the one sitting next to me do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game well you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times it wasn't working but I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or or worse it'll start becoming a mind game and you'll start falling into some pretty bad habits now the one and one pitch very high two and one and one thing you can't do here and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Xavier St. John will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. And he'll have himself a base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and the runner is in from second. You can see the pitching coach making the trip out to the mound. He might be saying, look, this is it for you, so don't leave anything in the tank. Get this guy, and you can go take the rest of the game off. Xavier St. John is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Wow, no chance of getting on top of that fastball. I mean, that's helmet level right there. Ball one. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard toward the right side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. A handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys. But what do you say we go ahead and let this man...
Matt Vaskersian back to count down with you toward PCL baseball on the minor league pregame show with today's version of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Gary Brown will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. And this is hit well towards the hole, and he'll reach to knock this ball down. But he'll have to just put this one in his pocket, and I'd imagine this will be an infield single to start the inning. Lewis Belanger will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. Pause, now the pitch. Into right field, that'll drop, it's another base hit. Let's watch this swing and show motion. You're gonna see this pitch just tie him up in knots, but somehow, He's able to fist it all the way out to right field. Now here's the pitch. And the 0-1 is lifted in the air out to right. St. John is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Xavier St. John will stand in right on the heels of a four for five ball game a night ago. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. He's ready now, the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And he'll turn and fire a desperation throw to first. And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Trevor Cahill will stand in for the first time here. 1-1. One, one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. 1-2 and two now. Here comes a 1-2. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And that will not get the run home. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Joaquin Rubio will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Xavier St. John will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now the first pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Now here's the pitch. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! And there it is. With that swing of the bat, he's collected his first triple-A home run. A nice moment for him, I'm sure. Oh, uh, you got that right, Matt. You know, there's nothing quite like circling the bases after driving the ball right out of the yard. And, you know, before he lays his head down tonight, he's going to replay that at bat in his head over and over. He's one of their top prospects, you know, so this organization is going to look for a lot more of that from him. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. Danny Worth will dig in. He doubled his last time. Here's the 2 and one pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here comes a 2-2. Here's a ground ball to first. And Ishikawa takes it to first himself. With it, the inning is over. A run, a hit, and a man left. Xavier St. John will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Brown is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and a couple of men left. 
A handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys. But what do you say we go ahead and let this man take home the hardware? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no question he was a tough out up there. You see the three hits, including a home run. Without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. Our final match. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Happy Friday, baseball fans. Before the weekend series get underway, here are the highlights from Thursday's action. Starting in the National League West, the Friars paid visit to the Valley of the Sun to take on the D-backs, and it was the D-backs who grabbed the victory. The score was 3-1. to one. Gerald Laird was a force at the plate, driving in three runs. Right now, the Diamondbacks sit in last place in the National League West Division, 12 games behind first place. The Los Angeles Dodgers were in Milwaukee to take on the Brewers, and it was the Dodgers who nabbed the win, the final 7-3. Yasiel Puig had a huge day offensively, collecting three hits and driving in three. He is currently among the NL leaders in batting average. Heading into today, the Brewers are in first place in the NL Central, one game ahead of second. The Dodgers sit in second place in the National League West Division, six games out of first. The Marlins matched up against the Giants in San Fran, and the game went to extras with the Giants coming away victorious. The final score was 3-2. Hunter Pence led the charge offensively with three RBIs in the contest. He is currently among the NL leaders in runs batted in. George Contos was victorious in this one, earning his first win. As of today, the Giants are atop the NL West. Six games up.